Okay, so the property is 2018 today, just below the Cypress area. The buyers hired us out right before the final walkthrough. That's my best, that's when I recommend doing a brand new property. It's because we can come in and find all the things that the builders miss. And then they have time to fix it before they walk in, do the final walkthrough. Uh, let's take you around, show you some of those issues, and let's go check it out. The first thing I noticed coming up the roof is I had a, a nail hole directly through the shingles. I know this goes all the way through because right underneath it, I actually have a water stain on the garage ceiling in the exact same location. The next item is I have a trim board piece. It's too close to the roof. You need two inches of clearance and also you can see that it's damaged. So I just recommend for replacement. Okay, for this next item here, we have a soffit vent. And what they did is they added extra insulation in this portion of the attic. And they ended up covering up this entire soffit vent. They probably thought they were doing the client a benefit by adding a lot of extra insulation in this attic space. But what they did is they stopped the ventilation from entering there. And what happens is they'll create a hotter attic space and they're going to create maybe moisture issues in the future. So what we want them to do is come back, pull it off the soffit and allow the attic area to breathe. All right, let's go check out the next issue. Okay, so this has been in my YouTube videos a few times. You've heard me talk about kick out flashing, but kick out flashing is required if the roof continues, if the roof stops and the sidewall continues. So you can see right here, the flashing piece just dead ends but what you need is kick out flashing and I'll, I'll put that in the video right here and kick out flashing helps the water kick out off the wall and prevents it from getting behind the siding all right we have one more find on the front of the outside of the property and then we'll check out a lot of the little things that we found inside okay for the final item outside the exterior siding isn't 100 percent watertight they installed this trim piece wrong and this is going to eventually allow moisture to get behind the the soffit area right here. So we're gonna recommend for a repair and have the builder come back and we're gonna do a follow-up video to see if they repaired it properly. Okay, your inspector's gonna to try to find some of the smaller items around the structure too as well to try to make the process a little bit smoother. He's gonna to try to find the door stops missing, paint on the floors, the door sticking not latching properly, cover plates missing, the screws missing in the cover plates, and then also uh, just some of the minor damaged trim pieces around the structure. You're not gonna normally get this on a older property, but on a brand new property, we try to call out everything we possibly can. So that's Chris with A Action. If you have any home inspection questions, please give me a call and please like and share the video.